So I created the update SQL string variable to update company set company equal at company name, company email equals at company email, and company size equals at company size. And they delete SQL equals delete from company where company ID equals at company ID. If you're going to de deploy this into a large, larger scale type of environment, you may consider using a stored procedure instead of uh, these uh, string variables. The next thing we'll do is create a SQL data adapter. and create the data adapter command to populate our grid view, our disconnected data set. Dot select command equals new SQL command. I'm going to pass it our get SQL and then our connection manager dot get connection. And then let's create our insert command. Passing in our insert SQL and the connection manager get connection. Now let's create the parameters. Dot insert command dot parameters dot add so at company SQL data type dot in char source column equals company ID. So I created the other parameters for the insert command, which is company name. It's a SQL DB type inchar 150 source column equals company name. Same thing for the company email and then for company size SQL DB type dot char 10 characters and source column name equals company size. So, so let's create our, our update command. So data adapter dot update command equals new. Passing it our, our update SQL and our connection manager. Get connection. And do the same thing for the update parameters. Update command dot parameters dot add. Let me just basically cut and paste this. Created the remaining update command parameters. So let's create our delete command. Passing it the delete. SQL and connection manager dot get connection. And we can cut and paste. And then return the data adapter. In our company data access component, let, let's create a class variable. It's called private static SQL data adapter company data adapter. And this is going to be equal to 
the create company data adapter, which we just completed. In part two, we're going to create a dialog form to add and modify companies. We're going to create the, the add and modify methods on, the, on that dialog form. And then we're going to create add, modify, and delete click method. To add a new form to your solution, right click on your project, add new item. We're going to add a Windows form. And we're going to call it add, modify, company. Let's change the text to be add, modify, company. Create your new form so that it looks something like this. And then right click on the form and click on view code. We're going to create two class variables, a data set. We're going to call it company tracker data set and a data row. We're going to call it current row. Next we're going to create two constructors. One of them is going to accept a data set as a parameter, and the other is going to, to accept a data set and a data row as a parameter. So it's going to be called public add modify company data set ds. Initialize component. And then Company track data set equals ds current row equals null. Our other constructor Take a data set and a row, initialize component, company data tracker equals ds, current row equals row, and text box one dot text equals current row, company ID. Xbox two dot text equals current row company name string Xbox three dot text equals current row company email. Xbox four dot text equals current row company size dot to string.